Hello, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I am joined tonight by Anna and Christian. Okay. Good evening. We are here. Yay. <clears throat> I'm missing the debate because apparently everyone wanted to have a show, so we appreciate here I am. That. Yeah, there you go. So we can talk about more repaints. Yay. Yay! <laughs> now we're going to talk about repaints instead of debates. That's probably yeah. easier topic, at least. Way easier. True. True, true, true. Although, like, if you're bored with politics, you might consider the debate a repaint of other debates. Sure, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure everyone's sick of politics at this point. Anyway, um, so yeah, Earthrise. Are we starting with the boring one? Yep. Yeah, we're going to start with the boring one. Christian's holding okay, it up. which is hubcap. It's hubcap. Yeah. Now we have the Yay. other flavor of hub. Um, it's car flavor. Boy, he exists. And he is yellow. <laughs> let me let me just tell you. I mean, you probably caught me turning off my light there because it was so reflective. He is yellow. Yeah, that's about it. It's like neon yellow. It's pretty <clears throat> ridiculous. But he's it's here. It's a nice bright yellow. Yes, it's nice. He uh, still suffers from what Cliff Jumper doesn't have. No Autobot symbol on the chest. That's fixable with repro labels. I'll probably do it. I might give him a Wrecker symbol because I'm crazy. But uh, he exists. I'm glad he I still he don't exists. understand why they didn't but... put the symbol on the chest. It's like It annoys the heck out of me. I don't know. The, like It would have been really cool if they would have put like a, the uh, rub sign or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Like, that would have been cool. But, I don't know. I, I just think it's a missed opportunity. Like, it almost looks like a third-party figure, like, in, in bot mode, because it doesn't have prominent, uh, you know, yeah. Autobot symbol. He's got one on his footsie. Yeah, it's on his foot. So. Yeah, it says he's got the foot tat. So, he's actually got a lot of paint, and you wouldn't necessarily he think that. He does, yeah. Out, but it's all the same paint, which <clears throat> is... yellow. Ooh, boy. But he's also got painted black details for the car mode. Of course, his face is painted orange, which is nice. It's just, he is yellow. Does anybody have their cliff jumper within hand's reach? No. Um, oh, I do. It's in okay. car mode. That's fine. I just want to compare, like, is, is cliff jumper actually as plain as hubcap? And we just like him better because he's red? I think so. I couldn't really figure out why aesthetically when I opened up, um, cause I was like hubcap. I heard from you two cause you two opened yours first that he was boring. And I was like, I really love this mold. So I'm not going to find him boring. And I opened him and I was like, I am done caring about this figure already. Huh? This is a weird sensation. Cause I just didn't really get excited about him at all. Even though I still really like cliff jumper. And I'm wondering if it's literally just a color thing. Like the, Plain yellow isn't as fun? I don't know. It's a little confusing. I don't know. I'm not I really I'm sure. Not I'm not sure what? what it is. I hope I'm not that shallow. It's Maybe but it's I weird am. that we all had that like feeling. It was just such a such a feel like when I pulled them out of the package and whatnot, and usually like most repaints, like I'm like, ah, okay, you know, whatever. Like this one it just felt really boring. Yep. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like repaints, I like them. Usually, there's always something to like about them, and this one, it's boring. There's nothing Is wrong it? with it. Like if you're a hubcap guy or a wreckers guy, like you're gonna love him. But uh, hmm, hmm. Isn't that Happy. kind of worrisome though? Because we're gonna get how many versions of this mold? This is our first cliff jumper repaint, right? And they're all plain color person. With a different head, and that's really about I, it. I suppose it's hard to tell, like, mm. until we get Bug Bite in hand yeah. to see, you know, like, because that's going to be all white. So. Yeah. Like, I, I super want Tap Out, which is all green, but we don't get green stuff out. I mean, right. every time a hoist comes around, there's something green, but other than that, I don't know. It'll be weird. Yeah, and I think what Catherine just said in the chat is a good point because Hubcap largely, especially if you're not a records person, is a really unremarkable character. Like, he's just, there's not much to say about Hubcap. 
I can't remember if there even were cartoon appearances for Hubcap. I honestly don't it. even know. I don't. I think the <clears throat> other thing is is just the fact that like it's. He comes with like all the same accessories that Cliff Jumper came with as well, exactly. and I don't know if Bug Bite is is he coming with different stuff? I can't remember. Nope, same stuff. But this stuff is well painted. Yes, I did like that. I was like, this rocket launcher looks better, or grenade launcher, this whole whatever. Gunmetal color or brown or whatever you want to call it, gray, is painted over black plastic. It looks really good. But my favorite part about this time is that they didn't paint the connection points. Where on my cliff jumper they're painted, and by inserting them together, all the silver's now chipped off and, and rubbed off. Mm. This won't do that because they built it better. It's nice. It looks it's a really good looking gun. But all that makes you want to yep. do is give that one to Cliff Jumper and just put the other one aside. Well. So I don't really want Hubcap to have a big gun. I don't, I don't really have a personality for Hubcap. That might be part of the problem. Is That's I really just, I don't Maybe know if you it. read about the wreckers, Anna, then you could... uh, I read his bio and all it was was horrific deaths and whatever. I'm I'm yeah, right. So <laughs> And also he doesn't really look like that hubcap like right, at all. Of this guy's you know made of a box, which is good because that's just one. But the uh, the wreckers hubcap went in a completely different direction. A yeah, good point, Catherine. That bug bite will be a Netflix. It'll be in the next but I, season. Like I feel like oh, that. We'll actually cool. get to see him. The bumblebee coming out. Like I'm gonna be excited for that because. One, it looks really good, and you know, two, it, like the mold is different, like they remolded it, and three, it's Bumblebee. So, like, I, I'm actually excited for that, um, for that character, and I don't know, I'm kind of excited that it sounds like that all the mini bots are going to be coming out like in this type of form. So, I'm sure yeah. it's somewhat of a bummer that now the mini bots are deluxes, well, deluxes, <coughs> um, but. I'm, I'm good with the size and I'm good with the price for them. I, you know, that's just I think the, it is. It, as long as they continue coming with accessories like this and that they're well built mm -hmm. and have good transformations, like the uh, Warpath, like looks really, really good. Yeah, so. good. yeah. I, Hubcap is pretty much the definition of a checkbox figure for me. Like I need him to have that G1 character in a classics form. So here he is. But he really could have been, I mean, like I said earlier, he's got a bunch of paint. He could have benefited from some more paint on his head crest. Just to paint, pull out some of the detail. Because it's a nice head sculpt. It's just, you don't see it through all the sea of yellow. No, you really don't. I did feel like the head was forgettable when our Club Jumper's head stands out better. Which is a bummer, because he's got that weird Oompa Loompa face that mm. I was excited to own. And then, eh. More than one tone of orange would have helped on the face, too. Because it's just blop orange. He also has red eyes. Does he? On top of... Does he? Doesn't he? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, well then. That's even worse. I don't know. <laughs> Are we going to get a select bumper? I don't think, Do you think so. I hope so. It's hard to... Like, honestly, you have no idea what <laughs> they're going to randomly pick. You know, no, that's for true. Their, for their stuff like i feel like that they like to pick obscure stuff for the for the selects thing so as much as bumper will be another yellow dude that will look pretty similar to this yes i want one <laughs> see i kind of thought i when this happened and when i heard that there was going to be ham and there's going to be bug bite and there's going to be bumblebee and there's going to be and there's going to be and there's going to be i was kind of like maybe i'll pull a christian Maybe I'll do my butterfly wall of little cars and I'll be excited yeah. for it. And That'd I think exciting. this one, you know, the first repaint I bought answered the question for me. I don't care. I don't think I want to do it. I think that I will continue, you know, so far I haven't ordered bug bite from anywhere. And I think I'm just going to keep doing that and be okay with it. I have a bug bite. I have the, the new age version. He looks yeah. great. I mean, I think it will be cool. <laughs> like I don't necessarily need another yellow one. Uh, one of this mold but like again like if they do a green one or something like that like I think it'd be fun to have the different colors so blue green whatever if they do tap out in glyph I will buy that just because I need every glyph figure I have twice as many as I did like two weeks ago it's great but <laughs> right two I mean two I feel is like twice as many I don't see how they don't do a tap out in glyph like it just it makes too much sense like they had that comic 
and and whatnot, you know, right? They could just throw on a different head on on these molds and you know yeah. be good with it. Can I can I place a wager? Sure. Sure. Glyph and tap out. Galactic Odyssey two pack coming out in February. That sounds right because they would wait. The, there's a list. How of many? Planets, how many? Right? Uh, how many months do we have for that thing? Is it there's five? Total? Five of them. Yeah, but there's a list of planets. You could look up and see if one of those planets is the planet they go to in their comic. Oh, I don't know what that one's called. Yeah, I don't remember either. It's not the one they were on in Wreckers where I know them from, so I, I don't know. Right. So hmm. if we had, what is it, October, November, December, January, February, I don't know that that lines up exactly because the first one was in September. You want it to be February uh, for Valentine's Day again? I don't actually because I want them to focus on a different couple this year. Instead of just bringing them back again in February, I want it to be That's like, fair. surprise, a new couple. I do so, think we'll see them uh, in a two-pack rather than single releases, though. I do, yeah. too. Um, Which is fine because they're the different bodies. Yes. One will be B and one will be yeah. uh, Clip which is great. I hope. Um, interestingly, I just got a text coming in from Serge, who's also on our cast. It looks like maybe the Paradron medics are arriving on Friday. Really? Really? Wow. I, huh. I just got that in as I was talking to you guys about it. So I just keep order that. Boxes for that. Well, there we go. That. That'll be exciting. More repaints. We can set up our show. Or we could do the Pit of Judgment here pretty soon, and that could be, yet again, more repaints. But yeah, Anna, I'm glad you were with me on the the, is that the planet they went to logic. Yeah, because if it is, then maybe I can be hopeful. I really want, I would really like to have a glyph that has a right head. Because, like, my, the Moss Toys one is okay. Like, she has a good head, but... It's that mold, you know, that yeah. skiff mold that, like, you look at it at first and you're like, ooh, that's neat and inventive. Then you look at it three times and you're like, oh, wait, there's so many gaps and problems in such a tiny figure. And then I got the um, <clears throat> the Toy World Bee mold. And it's really good, but it's a freaky bumblebee face that's blue with, you know, it has her color face and her color head, but it just looks like blue bumblebee unless it has either the you know, classic glue bug style um, face cover, mask face, or the more updated, you know, woman Autobot face. Either one of those would work. I wouldn't care which one, but as it is, it doesn't look like her. Yeah. So I'm really hoping for a release of Glyph that is her. You know, it actually has her face. Um, that would be nice. Yeah, me too. Um, but this is this is dull. Like he's still really good, right? Like if you skipped. Cliff jumper, sure. Because you already, you know, like you had your prime cliff jumper, and that's your cliff jumper, and that's all you care about, or whatever. And you wanted an excuse to get this mold. Get this mold. It's a really good mold. It's very fun. It's very, you know, you can take off its backpack and give it a shield, or give it its backpack, whatever. It's customizable. It's enjoyable. <laughs> and it's um, it's well painted. It's well made. There's really no complaints about it other than we already enjoyed the figure to pretty much the extent of what we could. And this doesn't Uh, offer anything new. I'm still curious. Like, when's Bug Bite supposed to come out again? Do we know? I can't remember. November? I don't think it's long. Yeah, I think it's like November. I, like, don't pay attention to the the dates or whatever. So, because Tiger Track, like, when was that supposed to come out? November 1st. Oh, is it okay? Although Agabus has gotten it as of this morning, so it, sh- it might be a little bit sooner. Yeah. That's Centurions were supposed to be November 1st, too, and so is Rover Storm, so they're they're coming a little bit earlier than Pulse is saying. That's yeah. nice. So, yet somehow Wave 2, is it's like flip-flopped, where Wave 2 is like not out anywhere, mm-hmm. except for Target, like if you order it from there. We'll just say 2020 and be done with it. Right. Right. Yeah, no, so that's true. Speaking of Rotor Storm, here he is, and what oh. a guy. Oh, boy. Complete opposite of Hubcap. This repaint is incredible. Look how much color this dude has. And let yes. me tell you, like, honestly, as far as, like, enjoying the two molds, I think I enjoy them equally. Like, I really like the, um, 
that mold, the helicopter mold, and I really like the clip jumper mold, but gosh, this is a much better repaint. Yeah. It's just a lot more yeah. interesting. And they did they did make a new head for him, I don't, if anyone hasn't seen that. The original picture showed him with Spinister's head, which was disappointing, but fine. And they, they actually did make a new head for him, which is great. He's got pink helicopter blades, got pink and yellow and silver and clear pink plastic for his cockpit. It's amazing. Pink when are we going to get a Thunder Clash is what I want to know. I want all of the Turbo Masters. Give them yes. to me. I'm thinking, you know, there's an Earth Mode Magnus coming in Kingdom. They could repaint Thunder Clash as that. Or they could repaint the normal Magnus as that. I don't know. Whichever one. I think it's going to be Diaclone Ultra Magnus, personally. I would like both of those things. Like, honestly, I felt cut... like the Siege Ultra Magnus worked better for Thunder Clash. Fine, whatever. The, the small, know, version, small bot could be Thunder Clash. <clears throat> the combined mode is Hyperdrive. I've wanted that for years. Sure. Even when those yeah, hyperdrive is up to the me, it's great. This Roto Storm is just, oh my gosh, like such a fantastic, like so the paint bad. on it. Well, and even like the top of the cockpit. Like right, the it's green, got like that green. I mean, yeah. Oh. This is you know, everything that Select should be. Like this is the perfect Select figure. It's a good repaint with the remolded part with amazing paint applications of an obscure character that everyone seems to love because he was in a comic that everyone loves. He's perfect. Although I do want to say that I feel like one more extra mile would have been nice to get like different guns just because I feel yes. like these very much are supposed to be like weird simulacrums of the target masters and he should have round cannons instead. I'm sure that would have been nice. Get the upgrade kit. Yeah, right. I mean, you just have the upgrade kit and then it's fine. But you're, you're right, Anna. It would be nice to have, you know. It would be. I mean, it would just be nice to have that, like, I don't I don't want remolding. I don't want a new figure. I just would like different guns just to represent the character properly. Like, it, it sucks more on Hubcap, honestly, because that cannon is going on every version of this mold. We're going to have so many of that giant cannon. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want so many of the giant Oops. cannon. I'm good with one, maybe two, depending on the characters. So, yeah, I would rather have, you know, new guns for this guy. It's fine the way they are. Like, these hey. are fun guns to play with. They can go on the shoulders. They can go on the wrists. They can go on his hands. They're cool, but it would have been nice to get guns that were his guns. Hey, we got a remolded head, Anna. Be happy. And it's fine. I'm, I'm good for him to have the remolded head. I honestly have no idea what his head should look like except for the like five minutes I spent looking him up in the wiki today but this, this is a good head it's close this is a good head he's got an eccentric chin and would you guys say I was crazy riser? if I want to see this version repainted again as Machine Wars Sandstorm oh no please this sure. could be my I'll butterfly take it. wall that's fine I want, I want that I would be I would fine with that I mean that's wall. a thing that you know Hasbro like needs to learn is is like we will take repaints of all this stuff. We'll buy it, even if we're not excited about some of them. This well, one, even, I will. you know, even with Hubcap, you know how back in animated they released like thirty characters that used that Bumblebee model, and they were all in the Allspark Almanac, and they were background characters. You know what? I would buy every single one out of this. I really would. But I'm I'm that kind of crazy. Now Peter right. you know, talked about his brain damage, and Nick talked about his brain damage. I think that's mine. But I don't know, like, I, I feel like I'm the same way, though. Whereas, like, I mean, I just want updated, you know, generations yep. for, like, versions of all these characters. Yep. So I, I'm fine with buying all these repaints. So. Well, and then I you put the two of us. Specifically yeah. that you're, you like mold collecting. Like, I don't yes. think you've ever actually just straight said it, but I do think you enjoy mold collecting. I do it more often than I think i do it you do you do and you do it well and you display them well and you display them proudly so i think that you know you really do enjoy getting all the versions of a good mold two mold collections on display right now i've got the right. seeker wall of course and i've got uh, a showcase full of every version of the age of extinction leader prime yeah and oh, that here, here we go out. how about repaints repaints of rescue bots characters 
Blake in the chat was saying that he made some fists for someone who made a spinister into a rescue bot swirl. Oh, yeah, 100% I would buy. I'd love it if they made him into the main characters. Yeah, absolutely. No question. Those guys have done a lot for the franchise's characters, and I would really like to see them honored as part of the legacy. Rescue Bots mm-hmm. was, is it a half bag cartoon if you're watching it with a kid also. Like it's it's fun. It's engaging. Like I've watched I mean, it with my friend's kid before and it's it's fun to watch together. For like a decade. I mean I'm I'm sure it's generated a ton of new fans for us that will, you know, start collecting when they're older. I, I think it's wonderful. So yes, yeah. I will buy classics rescue bots. Oh, and I'm surprised you haven't watched all the rescue bots considering it's the nonviolent transformers you keep asking for. Yeah, I just feel weird since I don't have kids watching a kids show at home by myself. Ha ha ha. Funny. Would you allow me a brief flex if we're talking about rescue bots? No. I actually have one classic rescue bots figure because I did the botcon customizing class for medics. So I I have that. And everyone was like, oh, it's SG Ratchet or oh, it's Classics Ratchet. I was like, I've got a billion ratchets. Let me make somebody I don't have. So I'm in medics. Well, I, I feel like now, does the medics go for the top dollar like the other versions do? It's all kind of the same because medics just uses the first aid head. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't have its own unique head. I did take that ratchet head and made a ratchet of my own later. But for the mm-hmm. class, I, you could only pick like one or two out of the several versions of the stickers. So I picked medics and... I guess Ratchet. Yeah, I know, how many I know that... You, could uh, well, you couldn't get the whole set. That mold was, like, going for, like, a pretty good amount of money, I think. Like, especially if you had the figure without the everything applied, like the kit, like, yep. where someone could do it. Oh, yeah. It was, it was going for a top dollar. It was fun. But, like I said, I just wanted a new character. And they wrote a neat bio for medics to be an auxiliary protector bot. And I was like, cool. Auxiliary That's protector fine. bots. The end. Anyway, I, I didn't mean to segue us that far. Oh, Mostly, fine. everyone should go buy Rotor Storm right now. Go yeah, Finding him's a good idea. Like, I actually think he might do the mold a little better than Spinister does. I haven't gotten mm-hmm. Spinister off the shelf yet to compare them because Spinister is amazing and I love him. So I think this one actually does make it look better, at least in bot mode. I I'm a little sad to say I haven't actually put him into helicopter mode yet. Like I just basically unboxed him, dressed him and, you know, putting him up here was the first time I actually noticed he had green on his back. It's a neat green. I I don't remember that from the original figure. I have the original figure, but I haven't looked at it in a while. That green patch back there. It's cool. Um, So yeah, I haven't gotten to compare the helicopter modes yet, but I really like this mold. Like I, would argue, and I know that I would lose the argument because not many people agree with me, that this was the best mold that Siege had to offer. Like, I think this is peak Siege. This is one of the coolest robot toys I actually own as a mainline figure, and it's an okay helicopter. It's definitely a really good toy, and it's definitely my favorite of it. I don't know if I would say that this mold is my favorite Earthrise, probably so far if I have to think really hard about it but I don't think I would feel that way if I would have got Hubcap first because he's so boring hmm. <clears throat> yeah that is interesting I keep thinking like back to what you said about do we just not like it because it's yellow because Clip Jumper I think is the hmm. same color layout Randall's I right I have been busy playing with a different toy instead of these guys. Yeah, so, yeah. so your other toy, Anna, that like you're talking about, have you actually transformed it yet? I haven't got to it yet. I think um, Swift was just saying in our um, Discord chat that he just transformed it, and I think he, I can read if he says that it's a good transformer or a bad transformer. He probably says it's bad. Yeah, because you can't do a review on the figure until you've well. transformed it at least once. Yeah, well, I didn't transform it because I knew you guys didn't want to cover it because it's scary. So. No, 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 no. I just d- didn't want to wait like because I figured I didn't realize you're going to get it like a week after that we did the RCU thing. Well, I think that it would be fun to cover because it's really bizarre, but I think it would actually end up making me nervous. 
I just I don't understand. Oh, we're talking like, about big it's... Firebird toys, Nicey, yeah. which like is such a interesting figure that I won't even hold up the box on camera because I would blush way too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. I mean, it just looks like an anime kind of girl to me. I, I don't yeah, really understand. I mean, girl. it's a transforming figure in an anime girl. So, I, like, that's the only thing is, is it's, like, not of a Transformer. You the know, other than it's a pink really robot. cool, though. Is it? Like, Switch just posted okay. pictures in the Discord chat, and it is really nice car mode. I don't know how easy it is to get her there, and she does parts form. So... Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, if it's no. anything like an actual RC, like usually those are not that hard to transform. So she does look just like um, all the other RCs. Like she pretty much looks like she's going to transform like all the new ones. Just a little, probably about the same amount of parts forming as this RC. Just killed Minerva grabbing RC. Probably about the same amount of parts forming as her. Which I think we agreed last week wasn't really that horrible. No, it's not at all. And with um, with Nicey, she ends up with a um, a pretty like an interesting backpack. Like they tried to instead of just being like, oh, it's a big backpack. They were like, we'll make we'll make it articulated and try to make it look like something. Which I think it's fun enough. But anyway, going back to the figures we're actually talking about tonight, not, as Randall said, the ones that we should talk about. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, the thing is really cool. Like, how often do we get pink fists on an action figure? Yeah, the paint scheme is just so amazing. Like, it looks really, really good. So I would, I would definitely, of all the select figures that have come out, like, this is probably my favorite yeah i'm trying to think if there's another one yeah i'm not even gonna bother trying to think this is Sandstorm i don't know might beat it most of the select figures i feel like have just been i don't know like haven't been that great like for me personally like i think that this is the one that i like the character i enjoy the most plus it's like in you know wonderful colors as well so um I don't know. The Centurion drone, which we haven't covered yet, is really nice, too. So if you have a chance to pick that up at a not crazy price, like, you know, pick that up. But I don't even know if we should, like, do a review of it because it's, like, going for, like, 100 bucks now or something. Yeah. yeah which one? Like, impossible to get Centurion that Centurion drone. drone. Is it really? How fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the accessory pack, I think, is going for crazy price. Like, it, like you can sell the accessory pack for more than what you paid for the figure easily. Like, make money off of that. It's, it's crazy. So I wish that they would have done that, like, as... Like, it seemed like that that figure is relatively limited, and so and that kind of sucks. Like, I wish that they would have yeah. done... That was actually a Pulse exclusive. Yeah. Where the rest of the selects generally are not... Right, because I don't know, is the Rotor Storm, is he sold out on Hasbro Pulse, or is he, is he up? He has been sold out on Hasbro Pulse. I'm not sure if he came back. Yeah, now that they've shipped know. and have cancellations or whatever. Mine was from Big Bad Toy Store, and he came last week with my Minerva. Yeah, I know you can pretty easily get him, so like, if you wanted yeah. to get him like from your favorite online retailer, like... You know, for example, Big Bad Toy Store or whatever, you should be able to. I think I had to pay an extra dollar, but it was worth it because I really love this mold. I have a feeling he won't stick around for long. True. So if you've been on the fence, definitely do it sooner rather than later. Because I don't think any reviewers are going to say bad things about this figure. Like, I don't think there is any bad thing to say about it unless you don't like color. I guess, like, you could be like, ooh, bright colors don't belong on Transformers. You would be wrong if you were to say that. (laughs) But, man, it's pretty. This is a pretty toy. I like it a lot. Yep. This is also an okay toy. It's a a good mold. The the paint makes it look boring. But he does, I mean, he has a lot of paint, which is something we always say we want. It just doesn't amount to much. I don't know. I mean, it's a very vibrant. also has a lot of paint, but it's just red. It is a very vibrant yellow, though, so... It's neon yellow. Yeah, I think... I don't think a yellow Transformer is ever going to stand out in your collection unless you have some sort of bumblebee allergy. 
Like that's that's the problem. Like how many bumblebees do we all have in our collection? Oh, Yellowing up our collections. Another yellow guy is just not going to really stand out that much, unfortunately. Sunstreaker. That's funny. The bumblebee coming is actually almost like an orangish yellow. Right, yeah, right. Like, yeah, they've been kind of sticking to that that orangish yellow color for bumblebee. Yeah. For G1 bumblebee, not for right. any other ones. Those are just bright yellow monstrosities. Speaking of bright yellow monstrosities, I would say he is a recommend if you don't have Cliff Jumper and. Otherwise, meh. Yeah, I mean, he's got sharp vehicle mode detailing on the front grille. That's nice, but that's uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's true. Get Rotor Storm. Do not pass go. Get him as soon as possible. Yeah. He does have red eyes, by the way. Cool. That doesn't that doesn't, doesn't help. Yeah, it definitely does not help with the fact that his face is orange and his head is yellow and his eyes are red, which makes nothing stand out. <laughs> it's cool to have an Autobot with red eyes, though. Yeah. That's different. I guess I just don't have the visual acuity to pull that out. I mean, it could even be an illusion. Like, I could be thinking they're red, but they're actually just more orange. Hey, I believe you. I just can't see it, and that's fine. But he does not have red eyes. His eyes are pink. pink eyes. Ooh. Oh, that's sad. Pink eyes is oh. a very uncomfortable condition from what I've heard. Well, he got a more uncomfortable condition in Last Stand, so I'm yes. glad he's here now. It also involved his head and not eyes. So, so, so yeah. Blake asks if you uh, if they retooled it into Bumper, what would you prefer them to do? Not bother. Oh, so I'll sit down now. You guys can do your fanboy I've actually, stuff. I've actually been thinking about that since we mentioned earlier. Um, it needs a less vibrant yellow, but not the orange yellow that Bumblebee has. It needs the new head, and all of the black robot mode parts in this need to be silver. And I think the black translucent plastic for the windshield needs to be blue. Okay. I do think it'd be interesting to get, and I can't remember, like, this mold, are all the body parts, like, black? Or are there any that have gray or s some other color for the black parts? I'm just trying to think bug bite, because I think they all do. I think it black. would be actually kind of cool to see something, like you said, that, like, some gray parts, um, yeah, or, or mean, even gun even... metal or something like that. Even if they just used this same base plastic color, because if you look under the yellow paint, the plastic color is not so vibrant. If they didn't paint the plastic and instead painted the body parts and made it silver, I think that would be good for Bumper. Mm -hmm. Can I hold it? And it's not necessarily G1 toy accurate, but it's Dreamwave comic accurate, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be I wrong. Back now. Maybe we'll just make stuff up. I gave you guys time to be positive <laughs> about War Repates. Yay, and War I also repaints. took some time to try to put this sword in Hug Him Sand, but it doesn't fit. Too bad. Too bad. Mm. It was fun. It would have made him more interesting to have a like pink and opal sword. But you cannot. Sure. I guess. Anything would make him more interesting. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I think you know Bumper will be fine. I, I would buy Volks and those guys. Yeah, I mean I'll buy them all. So it. I would buy them all. But uh, but yeah. I'll get so. tap out and glyph, but otherwise I think I'm done. I think I just. And that's if, okay. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Two of the same. If you don't have the particular damage anyway. that Lucas and I share. I do not. I do sure. not. I would actually prefer to have Hubcap in a different mold I like. It's just I have not really liked any mini bot molds other than MP style ones. Yeah, it's been um, tough. And honestly, I haven't liked most of those either. It's like Toy World B is about the only one I really honestly like. Yeah, no, I mean, I actually do like this mold more than a lot of the Masterpiece style, like third party ones, just because. God, a lot of them are just a pain in the neck to transform. 
So they've got weird things you have to move past other ones and whatnot. So, but I don't know. I guess Fan Stories is coming out with theirs. I don't know, like, how they're, you know, whatever mini bots are. But I don't know. All right. Well, do we have any, any, anything else to cover before we get going tonight? I would say that if you have a specific need for a hubcap, here's a hubcap. If you have a soul, here is the next toy you should buy. Perfect. It's go. so pretty. It's like, do you like transforming toys? Buy this thing. It is cool. Yep. There you go. Um, we had a special show for uh, Hasbro PulseCon this weekend. So if you want to check that out, TFYLP, that's up on YouTube. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, and if you want to continue the chat, join us on our discord. It's, uh, stickied on the, uh, Twitter or on the top of the YouTube page. So, um, check that out. So, uh, yeah, we're currently then, talking about nice to Yeah. There you go. Yeah. As we speak. Yeah, so if you want to hear more about Nicey, join us in our Discord where Swift and Anna are chit-chatting back and forth since they both have the figure. So, um, And uh, cut the tapes on Friday. Uh, so if you want to um, check that out with Rick. And then episode 400 of TFLP is coming up next week. So uh, that should be live. Uh, we'll see what surprises we have in store. Uh, for the show, but that's Monday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. So, all right. Thank you for everyone in the chat uh, that participated. Catherine, Blake, uh, Randall, and I don't know if I forgot it, if there's anybody else. Yeah, thanks for being here. That's it. So, yeah, so thanks, guys, and I appreciate everyone joining us, and we will see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your evening.